Good afternoon, this is Teacher Patrick, and today we're going to look at Chapter 13, Waves. Okay, so uh, the first thing that we need to remember is a few things from our GCSE. Firstly, the amplitude of a wave is the displacement from the equilibrium position. We have a positive displacement and we have a negative displacement. So the displacement above and the displacement below is both called the amplitude. And from the highest point, which we call a crest, to the lowest point, which we call a trough, is called the dis, uh, total disturbance. The wavelength, this is the distance between any two corresponding points and is measured in meters. So it's from crest to crest, from trough to trough, or from the beginning of one wave to the beginning of the next wave. Okay, and the frequency is how many waves pass by every second, and that's measured by hertz. Okay, and that's the definition also, the amount of waves per second. Okay, the next thing that we have to remember is that there's an equation for this, where the wave speed is the frequency times the wavelength. Okay, and uh, if you remember from IGCSE, we said that speed is equal to distance over time. So how does this formula relate to distance over time? If you look at wavelength, wavelength is measured in meters, and our definition for frequency says the frequency is measured as um, also known as per second, so one over seconds. So if I have meters times one over seconds, that gives me meters per second. Okay, so it's still a measure of frequency, is still a measure of time. Okay, so if we use that formula and we quickly look at a few questions, uh, a wave. What's a wave has a frequency of 2 hertz and a wavelength of 0 0.3 meters? How fast is it? So we want the, the, the speed, so it's f times wavelength, 2 times 0 0.3, and that gives me 0 0.6 meters per second. A water wave travels through a pond with a speed of 1 meter per second and a frequency of 5. So I'm going to say 1 divided by 5, and that gives me 0 0.2 meters. Okay. The speed of sound is 330 meters per in air, depending on which syllabus you're using. Um, there's a more specific value, if you will be sure to see now. When Dave hears the sound, his ear vibrates 660 times. What is the wavelength of the sound? So, guys, vibrations per second is the, another way to state frequency. So, it is uh, speed of sound divided by frequency, which gives us another 0.5 and purple light has a wavelength of around 6 times 10 to the minus 7 meters and a frequency of 5 times 10 to the 14 hertz what is the speed of it so we'll multiply them together and if you take a guess it is an electromagnetic wave so our answer would be the speed of light 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second okay so the next part we'll quickly look at a recap for transverse and longitudinal wave. Okay, just to remember the difference between a transverse and a longitudinal wave. The transverse wave, guys, has a disturbance that is perpendicular to the um, to the direction of the wave movement. So if we run here, we see that the transverse wave moves up and down, and the longitudinal wave, the disturbance moves parallel to the motion of the direction of the wave. Okay. The amplitude will say how high the transverse wave gets and how compressed the longitudinal wave gets. And the frequency, if you see here, is how often those waves appear. So a high frequency is a lot of waves per second and a low frequency is a few smaller amount of waves per second. The next thing that we'll look at is in and out of phase. So we've said that any two corresponding points form a wavelength from the beginning to the beginning, okay, and that is also called a phase. So if we write A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, and I. Okay, we will see that any two points experiencing the same motion at the same time, okay, will be in phase. So A is both following or before a crest, B 
B is before a crest. So A, ach, A and E. A and E is in phase. B is on a crest. F is on a crest. So A and ach, B and F is in phase, and that will be a wavelength. D is at a trough, and H is at a trough. So both of them are in phase. Okay. So any points going through the same motion at the same time, we can see here that A and E and I are all in phase with each other. A wavelength can also be defined as two consecutive points in phase. So I and A is not consecutive. I, A, A and A is consecutive. Okay. And then, guys, points out of phase is any two points that are not in phase. So A and B are not in phase. A and C are not in phase. A and D is not in phase. A and E, A and G, A and H. Any points except E and I is out of phase with A. And we can get the period from there. Okay, so from our IG revision, we also have to think of the elect uh, electromagnetic spectrum. The electromagnetic spectrum is a continuous spectrum of waves of different wavelengths and frequency. Now, one of the things know, we know that each of these types of wave travel at the same speed, okay, of... Okay, through a vacuum of 300 million meters per second or 3 times 10 to the 8 meters per second. We call this the speed of light in a vacuum. Okay, our eyes can only detect a small part of the spectrum called the visible re light region. Colors of the visible light region in order, um, in order of decreasing wavelength. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue and violet. Uh, Roy G. Biv or Richard of York gave battle in vain. Okay, indigo violet. There's an indigo missing there at the end uh, between blue and uh, violet. Okay, so guys, if we look at the, the frequencies from IG, we remember, or the, the electromagnetic spectrum, we remember that gamma rays is the most highest frequency, so therefore it makes the highest damage. Then we get X rays. Okay, ultraviolet rays from the sun, visible region, infrared, microwaves, TV and radio waves. Okay, so mainly called radio waves. And you have to remember this in order of increasing frequency and decreasing wavelength or low frequency and high wavelength on the opposite side. So it's the wavelength and the frequency changes in opposite directions. Okay. So, what are the types and uses? Gamma rays is used for treating cancer and sterilization of things like marshmallows and food, uh, but it can cause cancer and cell mutation. X-rays are used in the medical industry, but they can also cause cancer and cell mutation due to the fact that both of them has very high frequencies. Ultraviolet is used for sun tanning and a few other um, uses. But the problem is that it does damage your skin, so sunburn. And if you get exposure to ultraviolet light in your eyes, it can damage your eyes and cause blindness. Okay, visible light, seeing things, okay, and we use it for fiber optics, okay. And uh, there's no dangers of the colors, the visible light colors, except if you look directly in the sun, that will damage your eyes once again. And then infrared okay we use it for remote controls we use it for heat uh, transfer but it can also burn your skin think of putting your hand above a fire if you put it high enough it's still uh, hot and that's how what we use to heat up or fry our meat okay microwaves we use in satellites phones we use it for wi-fi okay we use it in microwave ovens and if we um, the dangers of that is internal heating of body tissue so think of putting your hand in a microwave. That's exactly what will happen. And then lastly, TV and radio waves are used for communications. And to our knowledge, there is very few problems or dangers to the questions. Please let me know. We're going to break down this into a few lessons and we're going to look at it. Thank you and goodbye.